Alrighty, and here's a video review for the Unique Toys Warlord uh, UTW03 Savage Bull. Uh, it comes in the much improved packaging that uh, the Rhino had. Uh, it's got a nice texture to the front of it, all all inclusive, uh, the plastic tray and all that. Nothing super special about it. Uh, it's again, it's just got his box art. He comes with his bio card and and all that good stuff as well as. The foot gun, back gun, and the sword. I won't get to all that later on. Um, and he is uh, not... He looks better as a bull with the gun attached. Uh, you can see, like, if you take the gun away, he's a very skinny, uh, scrawny bull with a giant head. But not bad. His mouth does open. Um, and, and one of the things, like, the box art doesn't show it. Um, it has him uh, uh, kind of just sitting up at an angle. But if you pull the arms down, they do tab in. Uh, you can see there's a little tab here. Uh, they do tab into a slot there in the main body, which holds everything nice and steady. Um, I haven't looked at the instructions yet. He's simple enough to transform that I didn't look closely at them. Uh, so I don't know if it shows in the instructions, but the picture on the back of the box shows him kind of slumping down, and he doesn't need to. Um, now, because I did not have him when uh, I did my Bovis review, I, mean, I promised a comparison. Here's a quick comparison with Bovis in animal mode. Let's see. Just uh, that. Both, both their legs are folding up as I twist them. <laughs> Just to get an idea of the two of them together side by side. So yeah. Uh, not doing any commentary, just showing them off side by side since people have been asking what they look like together. So uh, we're, we'll go ahead and show off his foot mode first, since that's easier to get to from bull mode uh, versus going to robot mode and then coming all the way back to foot. Um, and to do that, we just uh, we just take the gun off, obviously, lift it up, pull it out, and there you, and you can see the bull mode by itself. So it's kind of skinny and scrawny. Uh, before you do that, you can, uh, he does have a little tail back here. That you, if you don't use the gun, you can flip out. Eh, not super important, but it is there. And then to get to uh, leg mode, you just fold these in up into here. And then kind of just fold these back down and around like this. Nope. On the ball joint here. Turn his head around. Flip it down. And then you got the, the basic body. And you just plug it onto the foot. And just like the other one, it, it's got the, the, the hinge. It is a little loose. It doesn't ratchet or anything, but... Uh, as long as the thighs are steady enough, once you get to like these angles, it doesn't matter how loose it is. As long as the, the thigh piece holds, you're not going to get a whole lot of movement here. Unless you pick them up, his feet will go like that. But, you know, you set it back down, they go right back to normal. So, not a big deal. Also, you got to get... Yeah, this is just as hard as it was on the Rhino. Okay, so you, so you may have to get like a key or something. Let's see if we can get a pen to get this started. Kind of pry this. Wow, really? So you know he's going to have strong ratchets in combined mode. Let's see if I can't get a key out here and get this pry open. There we go. Finally got it to click one ratchet. Come on. So yeah, very tight, um, very tight ratchet here. There we go. There we go. It takes a lot of leverage to get that going. So you flip that up too, and that'll be his connector point. So yeah, the knees are obviously going to be very stable on this guy because <laughs> I remember Rhinos was just as, if not more tough. That maybe actually I think the rhinos is a little less than that, but yeah, there's the foot. And again, uh, for the sake of comparison, here is Savage Bull as a foot next to uh, Bovis as a foot. And there's not a whole lot of height difference there. There's, a, there's definitely a mass difference, but there's not a whole lot of, of height uh, difference between the two of them in leg mode. But yeah. There's a foot. He does have the the same little uh, toe lights that the Rhino had uh, with batteries that you can't get to. 
and you got the same, uh, you know, you can move the toes and all that stuff. Foot is pretty much just a mirror opposite of the one that came with uh, Ironhead. That's his name. There we go. So, yeah. Turn the lights off. If you can't get to the batteries, why waste them all now? I kind of want to have some battery power left for combined mode when Predator King all comes out. So we can show them off like that. But yeah, there's, uh, there's foot mode. Now to get to robot mode, you just uh, pop the foot off, obviously. And uh, extend the legs. They do clip in, again, very tightly. I flip the head up like that. You can see uh, flip this back into its horrible hiding in the back. Ow, hurts your thumbs. Flip that up. There's his face. Dun dun dun, orange face. And then uh, you gotta, the clips here on the waist are also kind of a pain. Sometimes it helps if you just get one side out first and then pop the other one out. But extend the legs down, flip the feet out. Come on, foot, there we go. And then unpeg the arms here. And then you want to unpeg it. This is actually tabbed in here. There's a tab here that tabs into the side of this silver silver piece right here. Bring that down. So you bring it down, you rotate this in the, the right you see there's a joint right here. You rotate the right below the elbow, rotate that whole piece around, and then you take the shield and the fist is attached to the side shield and rotate that all the way around like that to form the elbow. Again, unpeg it. Unpeg it from there, unpeg it from there. Keep the elbow straight and you kind of fold the forearm up into that. And then fold just to fold the leg up onto the shoulder. And there you have him in robot mode. And like I said, he does come with his sword, which does also have kind of a batty symbol motif that uh, Iron Heads did. Actually, this one looks even more bat-like, bat -like, I think, but whatever. And he can hold a sword. So there, then there's the whole package of what you get with Savage Bull here. Here he is with his uh, compatriots. There he is with Iron Head and uh, Warhawk. And they look good together. They do look nice as a team. Uh, I am looking forward to the combined Predator King mode. They're kind of small, um, roughly deluxe sized. Um, and again, they're, they're simplistic, they're old school, but but they do look good together as a team. Um, and again, just because uh, show off robot mode comparisons, I'll actually do both of them this time. Uh, there is Savage Bull with Fortis. Pull the camera off the edge of the table there. And uh, Iron Head with, oh, actually with Savage Bull with Bovis, and then Savage Bull with Fortis. So yeah, I, I do find myself, uh, I, I, like I said, like I said before, I think price difference wise, for just a few bucks more, you're getting more value with the Mastermind versions, but Conversely, I do find myself fiddling with the Unique Toys versions a little more often, just due to their simplicity. So, not not that the, not that the uh, the Mastermind versions are really all that difficult. They both have their strengths and weaknesses. I th I think if I could only have one, I'd go with Masterminds. But um, if you're willing to drop the cash, these aren't aren't bad. Like I said, I, I I would feel way cooler about these if they were ten to twenty bucks cheaper than they are. But yeah, there you go. There is the uh, Unique Toys Savage Bowl.